So now we're going to do a quick run through of the numerical integration on the 20S. So again, I go to programs, I would load program B, which is my integration program, and I would go to the very bottom to my F. So now I'm going to enter in my function. So I'm going to enter in this function. It assumes that what is in the what I'm what number I'm going to type in there is going to be in the uh, that's going to be the, my X register. So we're going to store X first. I'm going to store it in zero. And then we're going to take that number that we've got in the X register as this program cycles through. And we're going to uh, take the sixth power. We are going to subtract that number we had we stored before, so recall zero. We called from the zero register with that number we'd stored. Subtract one. And that should be it. Well, I need to do the equal sign. Let me check my checksum right here. B62E. All right, so exit my program space. And now there's two other things that I need to do first. So I need to store my limits, zero to three. So zero is going to be stored into register five. I'm not sure why, but that's the way it's set up. And three is going to be stored into register six. And the program knows to look in registers five and six. And the last thing we're going to do is how many integral intervals are we going to use? So let's do eight, and then we're going to execute label A. So it should start running through the program, and we get an answer of 305.28 for that integral there. If we do, uh, say, 10 intervals, and then execute, we should have a slightly more accurate number there. So the more intervals, the more accurate the number. If we only do one interval, maybe you can't do one. You know, we get a less accurate number. I haven't run the calculation myself to see what this is actually supposed to be. Um, but that's generally how numerical integration works on this calculator.